Hi, my name is Ryan Gale, co-host of the TV show The Hunting Chronicles. I want to take this opportunity to tell you about a brand new outdoor website, SaskatchewanHunts.ca. If you're an outdoor enthusiast like myself, you're going to find something of interest on the site. Again, that's SaskatchewanHunts.ca. We'll see you on there. Welcome to Saskatchewan Hunts Moose Madness 1. Luck of the draw. Aw, oh, who brought that guy? Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of SaskatchewanHunts.ca. We just made it up to uh, Arborfield, Saskatchewan. We're visiting uh, Pat and Joanne Luce here at the Luce here farm. And uh, my cousin Jason was drawn for moose. I didn't get drawn this year. So I thought I'd take a good opportunity and come with Jason and see if I can't get a Saskatchewan moose on uh, film. So we're going to head out and uh, we're going to try some calling. Uh, speaking with guys around the province, so far this year moose populations seem to be super high. So uh, we're going to head into the bush. Uh, this is somewhat of a field hunt, but we're going to head into the bush and we're going to do some calling. And uh, hopefully we can't bring in uh, decent uh, bull moose. We are looking for a bull but we're also here for meat so if a cow does give us an opportunity on some dry land and it doesn't have a calf with it there is a good possibility that we will take a cow on this hunt. So let's get our gear together and uh, see if we can't get a moose. So wish us luck. We'll take the camera with us and we'll see you in a bit. Jay, 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 it's time to get up. Jay, 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 it's time to get up. Jay, wake up. Oh, well we finally got Jay out of bed. Well, on day one we decided to go for a drive. Miles and Brandon will be our tour guides in the monster truck. Holy smokes. Well, we're not going to get stuck, that's for sure. We're sitting at the same level as this bald eagle. Day one was just going to be a tour of the countryside, learning where the moose like to hold up. At the end of the day, we came across these two elk. Miles and Brandon had been hunting elk the week before, and of course, the day after the hunting season, there they are. No moose today, Jay? No moose. Elk and many, many deer. Bear. And, one yeah, bear. And a bear. Two elk. Beaver. Two elk, one bear, and. After the elk season closes, we days. see two elk. Yeah, the day after. <laughs> 50, <laughs> yards. That 50 yards. Not, Not scary. Really I guess we're going to have to go Should back and Should we take and that reserve the whole way home? You want to do that or what? I don't know. Are we going this way or straight? Yeah, I don't know. Who can take? Whoa. I'd uh, actually take it right here. Secret. We're taking it right. Take it right. Exactly the decision. <laughs> well, this will be home for four days. Jason's Uncle Pat was gracious enough to let us stay in his cabin. Uh, their family spent lots of time putting this cabin together they dropped all the logs and peeled the bark and sawed all the lumber even the lumber inside the roof is stuff that they put through the mill so it's a really nice cabin hopefully we'll stay nice and warm tonight turns out while they've been away some mice had took up residence in the cabin so what better entertainment than a little trapping game on one minute it'll be back <laughs> Put it right against the wall. The trap is set. Nothing left to do but sit back and enjoy the show. I thought I was going to be the first person in history to get a mouse being trapped on camera. No such luck. The mouse trap had rusted shut. No way this thing was going off. With a little tweak, this guy didn't last the night.
J. 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 It's time to get up. J. Wake up. Huh. I wonder if I should have brought that extra roll of toilet paper. I guess I got that synopsis in the pack. Which gun did you bring, Jay? Uh, I brought the uh, Remington 30-06 semi-automatic. That's your dad's old 7600 Remington, eh? Yeah, he's, he's had this gun for years. But uh, a new scope on it, so <laughs> hopefully it lined all up. So. <laughs> right on. We'll did you off. turn your scope down? It's probably going to be close shots, I'd imagine. Yeah. Right on. Well, let's go for a walk and uh, we've got a spot picked out. We're going to sit down and do some calling. We've got a thermos coffee and lots of food and a book to occupy our mind if we need. Just grab my clip and. Alright, let's rock and roll. Right on. So the moose are starting to call. So we're going to uh, try and use a uh, to the best of our ability, make a decent cow sound and see if we can't bring in a bull. But when you're calling these moose, um, a lot of times guys end up getting a little bit impatient, including myself. Um, you need to be patient, bring something to eat, bring something to drink, and bring something to read if you're easily bored. Because uh, even though nothing's responded to your call, there's a very good likelihood if you're anywhere where there's moose, um, in the area that if the wind has died down a bit that they will hear you and if that bull is with a cow already he probably won't come but once uh, he has left that cow he remembers that sweet cow sound coming from way yonder and he'll come your way so just keep that in mind uh, when you're calling pick a good spot um, somewhere you feel hunters aren't going to be bothering you where there seems to be feed for the animal, uh, water, high ground for bedding, and uh, obviously moose tracks. Pick your spot and stick with it. Call, 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 rake the trees if you want, and uh, if you believe it'll work, a bull moose will come to you. I wouldn't listen to that guy. They can't even set a proper mouse trap. I'm eating this. Let's see how these losers do in part two.